Welcome to Coffee Chat with me, Jody Misiak. I've been away for a while, but I am back and ready to go. So grab your coffee, your tea, and come chat with me. Today, this girl is not drinking coffee. I'm on like a, a reset month, so I'm just having some hot water and lemon, so it's delicious. Um, anyways, I am super, super excited to be back for so many reasons. One is that I miss chatting with you. I missed you and I miss chatting. And the other is today is the first day that both my kids are out of the house. And uh, my daughter went back to school yesterday and now my son's back in daycare. So I'm super excited to just have some more space to think, to breathe and things like that. So I'd love to hear what, how did your week, how did your holidays go? And uh, did you have any stumbling blocks uh, happen or any like fun life lessons come up or just aha moments? I'd love to hear. And today I just wanted to, to take a moment, one, uh, to say Happy New Year. And uh, just thank you so much for being here. <sighs> Isn't it wonderful to start a new year? Here's the truth. As the new year rang in, my inbox was bombarded by emails making me feel, actually just before you rung, ringing in the new year, so you're not even into 2020, and my inbox was just full of people stressing the importance of starting the decade on the right foot, and it got me stressed out. And as I was stressing out, I took a minute to reflect, like, why am I feeling like this? And like... The thing is, my goal coming into this year, my biggest focus is to have fun and to find joy in everything. So when all these emails were coming in, you know, putting the emphasis inside, like, you know, we're starting a new decade. This is the time to plant all this stuff. I was feeling overwhelmed and my one, you know, focus for the year was falling to the wayside because of all this stress I was feeling. So if you're there with me, no one, no, you're not alone. And maybe you have no idea what I'm talking about. And, um, and awesome. That's great. I'm glad you don't feel that stress. However, if you're feeling that pressure to be perfect, to start the year off perfect, I encourage you today to breathe. Just take a deep breath in, exhale, and just be for a moment. And if you're feeling overwhelmed about setting goals or any of that stuff, just lean into how you want to feel. And it can even just be in this moment. It doesn't have to be for the year. It doesn't have to be for the decade. Because here's the truth. Like, we have a whole decade. We have years. Now, that being said, I don't want you to like lounge around and do nothing. But give yourself a little grace. And, and know where you're at. Like, you can go be a go-getter, and that's great. Do that. But if it's stressing you out, take a step back. Yes, it's great to have a good start, you know, a good foot, like, forward. And I've even mentioned it in different emails I send out to my loving tribe and on my blogs and stuff like that. However, if it's stressing you out, it is no longer good. So take a moment and just think about that. What is showing up for you? And it's knowing, um, you know, we live in a fast society. Everybody is like, you can see what's going on with everybody with social media and things like that. So remember the important thing to do is sit back and reflect on how you're feeling and how you want to feel. And, and if you're overwhelmed about what to do, like maybe you have a huge list of goals and you really want to do them this year. You're not alone either. I have a huge list, and I'm excited. Um, on top of how I want to feel, though, that's the most important for me is how I want to feel. So if I'm getting stressed about going after my goals, then i got to take a step back. The thing is, so if you're getting stressed, think about the next right thing you need to do or, like, the next step. It doesn't even have to be – if you're, like, if you're stressing or be, feeling pressure over the next right thing, just think about, like, What's the next step I could take in the direction I want to go? 
So maybe you're like, I have no goals and I just want to feel happy or I just want to like be at peace. So like find that next step. Maybe if it is peace in your life, maybe you just want to feel a little bit more calm and centered. It's finding things that help you make you feel calm and centered. So, you know, going for walks in nature, if that's something that you like to do, or meditating or yoga, like those are definitely things I find very calming. Maybe they don't to you. But it's just finding those things that work for you and just focusing on the next right thing. Yes, we're in a new decade and everything, it's amazing. We're starting on a nice clean slate of awesome. Nothing is written yet except for the, I think we're the, uh, January 7th. So seven, seven days or six and a half, depending on where you're at. Not even seven yet. We're there. It's clean. It's cool. But you don't have to stress over it either. So again, I encourage you just to, to meet yourself at where you're at today. Where you're at. Because I had a crazy winter break. I had both kids home the whole, whole time. And even though I'm like self-care this, self-care that, Wow, when you're home in the thick of it, and I'm t mom 24-7, it's, it's crazy. And yes, I took self-care. And I, you know, there's times where I had to sit back and go, whoa, Jody, hit that pause button and listen to your own advice. Because we can get wrapped up in things. And I'm so grateful for um, what I call roundups. What, um, what I started doing last year is called morning roundup. And... It has been a, a lifesaver for me. Like I just, it's oh, not even just life changing. Let's go with life changing, and it's really helped me center. So having both kids home the whole time and my husband home changed things up. I didn't have the space to really just breathe, and as much as I'm used to. So when I like, so I would definitely be like, hey, I told my husband like I'm gonna go do my morning roundup. I need to get grounded. So. If you're just coming out of a couple weeks or a month or whatever you had off, like for us, I know it was, I had, well, I, I took off a lot of December, but I didn't actually take off as much. I just got off of social media a little bit and I worked behind the scenes on something very special that I want to share with you soon. Uh, but the thing is, I, I was off for like two full weeks with my husband, two and a half really with, I didn't have any work to, that I was focusing on just my kids and my family. And wow, like when you don't have this structure in place, it can be really hard to fall into old habits. Um, it can just be a little overwhelming in, you know, like my kids had crazy energy. We had to break out some yoga mats a lot just to get centered. We went for lots of walks uh, because when you don't have that routine, it can just feel a lot. So if you're coming from that place, really just meet you yourself where you're at today um, and be gentle with the process. And um, I can tell you, like, if you felt scattered and unsure, I know one of my other reasons I was stressed out when people are like, 2020, you know, a new decade and, you know, starting strong. And I was a little stressed, not because I wasn't ready and prepared, because I actually spent a lot of time in December reflecting and I actually was really solidly ready to start my 2020. But it was that thought of being perfect, like having to do it perfectly. And um, in it too, though, I realized that I wasn't actually very centered myself. And it came down to not really doing my purpose for like those two weeks. Yes, I love my kids. Yes, I love being a mom. And I love spending all that time with them. However, on the Thursday on the new year, they were still, well, my son actually went to daycare. I actually had that time to... I did some work. I was like, my husband took my daughter out for the day and I finished working on a very special project and it felt really good. So if you feel scattered and unsure, I really just, again, encourage you to follow your breath, like lean into your breath and then think about like, have you been doing something that lights you up? Because let me tell you, getting back to my desk and focusing on something that was going to help a lot of people really made me feel good. So that is one of the reasons I'm super excited to be back today because now I'm doing my purpose again. Yes, one of my purposes is being a mom. However, 
when you're in the thick of being a mom and that's all you're doing, sometimes you can get lost in the crazy town and the chaos and the stress that goes along with it. But when you get recentered on why, why you do things, what lights you up, you can really fall back into an amazing place uh, that you feel grounded in. So I know I talked a lot today. I hope this has helped somebody. And I am, before I go, before I forget, because I did say I'm sharing something special. Tomorrow on Wow Wednesday, I am sharing with you my morning roundup. So stay tuned. It is something I've been working on and uh, it has really helped me really start my days off well. So it's just a, a little tidbit, uh, like a little, a little tip, yeah, a little bit of awesome uh, to start your day. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that tomorrow. If you're part of my loving tribe already, you will get that email today um, a little sooner. So stay tuned. And if you want to chat about anything this year, please let me know and we can chat. And I am back. I am on social media a little bit more. And uh, so yeah, I'd love to chat with you. And I hope you're having a great start to your new year. And again, if you're stressing out, take a step back because it's okay. And just meet yourself where you're at today. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye for now.